Welcome back to another episode of November 1 Uniform India All Things Ham Radio. I am Nick and today we are going to be talking about how I got my ham ticket. So it's going to be a little bit of a storytelling type of video. So I got licensed as a technician back in 2012. I was actually working at a local radio shack at the time and some Gordon West books came into the store and like oh hey you know I was interested in radio communications and stuff like that so picked it up started reading a little bit while I was at work and I'm like you know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and buy buy the book so I bought the technician and the general book both at the same time. We didn't carry the extra, but we carried the tech and the general. So I bought them both, studied for my tech license. I studied all the questions in the book and I began to look around for local ham radio clubs. I found the Motor City Radio Club. Uh, they're based down here in uh, Southeastern Michigan. They've been around for a long time and I got in contact with the VE at the club and basically I went, took the exam, passed it. I think I got a couple wrong, but I, 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 got, it, I got it in the 90 percentile. So after I passed my tech exam, I found me an Elmer in the Motor City Radio Club. He helped me get my first two meter radio, which is just for like local communication. <clears throat> and I was able to talk on the repeaters. From there, like I said, I also had the general book. So I was a technician for probably, I don't even know, a couple months. And I was doing my two meter thing. And I began to study for the general. I just studied it and studied it and studied it. I wish I still had it. When During one of my moves, I must have thrown the books away. So I can't really show you, but my technician in my general book, they, I mean, they were, they were well used. I mean, there was, you know, notes scribbled in there. I mean, the pages were real loose. I mean, I, I used those books. I studied for a while for that one because that one was a little bit harder, a little more in depth than the technician. With your general ticket, that opens up the HF world for you. What I did is, before I went and took the exam to kind of know where I was at, is there's you know sites online where you can go and you can take practice exams. So what I did is after I was studying for a while and I felt confident about the material that I was studying, I went online and I found some of the free sites. If I couldn't get a 90% consistently, I didn't take the exam. Anyways, so I, I did that until I was at the 90 percentile on the test exams and they're like all right let's go once i was at that 90 percentile mark i found me an exam date signed up for it online i kept studying and i went and took it and i did i didn't do as good as i did on the technician exam but i still passed my my general so the general is where i stayed for several years the extra exam kind of scared me a little bit <laughs> just because looking at some of the test questions and stuff there was a lot of math in there there's you know there's there a lot of math and a lot of things that were kind of more technical and that kind of threw me off a little bit but then I made it a goal of mine I made it a goal of mine to go ahead and get the extra exam um, it was kind of a personal goal and it was something that I wanted to do. So what I did is again, I picked up the Gordon West book and I began to study it. I bought this off of Amazon and I bought it, I studied it, lost interest in studying for it again. I mean, you guys see here, I mean, it's just packed with, you know, formulas and stuff like that. So I lost interest in it. So I put it down for a while and I picked it back up. Like, all right, I'm gonna try this again. I stayed out on this book for probably another good month, month and a half. Picked my exam, went and took my exam, I bombed it. 
bombed it. I bombed it so bad that the first examiner, the first VE to check my answers, I, I watched him, he, he actually wanted to confirm that he had the right answer key. <laughs> that is how bad I bombed it. They thought they had the wrong answer key because I didn't get any of them right. Which wasn't surprising because again, even though I had studied and studied before the exam, there was a lot of questions on that exam. I didn't, I, I honestly, I didn't even know. So I knew I didn't do my part well enough. And I also didn't do those practice exams like I had said. Uh, I wasn't prepared. So after the VEs graded my exam, uh, they told me, or they had recommended or suggested to me an online service called Ham Test Online. Now, like I said, my technician and my general, I studied using Gordon West's books. And I really enjoyed his books. He has a dry sense of humor. So he put some of his, his, his humor into it and it was awesome. So I went on to the Ham Test Online website and they have a 100% refund guarantee. So basically, if you study like you're supposed to and you go and take your exam and you don't pass it, they will give you a full refund. I'm like, all right, so I really don't have anything to lose. You know, as long as I do my part on their site, meaning I take the time, I go through the questions and everything's tracked, you know, everything's tracked on the site. You can actually watch your, watch your progression, which is great. So it kind of gives you a breakdown of, okay, You've gone, you know, 55% through all the question pool. You have gotten X amount of percentages right and X amount of them wrong. Well, the other thing that I like about their service is, and this isn't like a promotion for them, I'm just telling you my experience. But the other thing that I like about the ham test online is the way that they break it down is they will give you the study material. But they break it down in a way that it's all sectioned out. They'll give you a section of material to read, then they'll give you three to five questions based on what you read. And they kind of drill you over and over and over with those questions, and then they'll, they'll add some more. They also have a mode in there on their website that what you could do is you can just go into, I think it's study mode if I'm not mistaken, and basically what, what it is is they'll take out all of the verbiage and they'll just quiz you on the question. So it's just question after question after question. And what's cool about their algorithm is let's say there's a question that you just can't seem to remember. What they'll do is the algorithm will keep track of how many times that you've gotten the question right and wrong. The more times you get it wrong, the more times the algorithm will bring it back up as you're studying. So like for me, for, for example, you know, there's a handful of questions that I just, I couldn't remember. So what it would do is it would keep me progressing through the questions but every, let's just say, fifth question, they'll bring back up one of those old questions for me. And they just kind of keep drilling you and drilling you that way until you get it right so many times. And it's, okay, Nick's got it now. And then what they'll do is they won't stop giving you the question, but they will lessen their frequency that you see it. So you might see that question again, maybe 20 questions down the list as opposed to five. Hope that makes sense. The extra class study course, as of the time of this recording, is 35 bucks. It looks like it's a 13% off discount. Um, so the listing or the original price is 40 bucks. So it's 40 bucks for the entire extra class course. You get that for six months. Uh, but anyways, I'll, 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 I'll have a link to that in the description box below. So what, what I end up doing is uh, every day for a full month, for 30 days, I actually stayed over at work and went through the ham test online material every day for an hour. And what I did is I set myself a pretty aggressive goal because I knew that if I was like, all right, well, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll take a test in, you know, three, four months. And no, I took the very first test that I could. I got it to where I had gone through 80% of the material. And the 80% of the other material I was getting, I was getting the high high 80s, if not low 90s, 
on the ham test exams that I was doing for the extra exam. So I felt a lot more confident and comfortable with the material than I did the first time that I took it. So I went ahead, set up my, my exam date, and I went. When I took the exam, I felt a lot more comfortable with it, and I passed it. It wasn't a perfect pass, but I passed it, and I was, I was, I was thrilled. So after I got my extra ticket, I felt good about it. And what I did is to kind of give back to the community and to also give back to my club, I went ahead and became a VE. I went ahead and grabbed the study material. And then I think there's a, I'm forgetting how many questions there is, but there's a little exam, a little study exam. It's all open book that you have to do. So they sent me all my stuff and you, you, you get a little badge, you get a certificate and stuff. So it was, it was, it was, it was pretty cool. So I've done a couple of VE sessions. I haven't uh, done as many as I'd like to have done. So that is how I got my extra license and kind of my journey through the ranks. Like I said, I started off with my technician in 2012, had that for only a couple months, upgraded to my general, had that for several years, and then I upgraded to my extra exam with a little more help. <laughs> uh, but. Here are the Gordon West books. I'm thankful for the ham test online. Well worth the 40 bucks that I spent on it. Well worth it. So, all right, this video was a bit longer than I had anticipated. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the like button. Hit the notification button and the bell to stay notified when I come out with new videos. If you guys want down below, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know how you got your ham ticket or what you guys are using right now. Maybe you don't have your ticket yet. What do you what do you guys use now? Or if you guys have any other questions or comments, please feel free to let me know. But until next time, thanks for watching and 73s.